I love my own comfort zone and I just can't trade it for anything. No. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. How are you all doing? I hope everyone is doing great. And our topic for today is leaving your comfort zone and five good ways on how we can achieve this. What is a comfort zone? A comfort zone is a place where you feel at ease, a place where you feel safe without any stress. We all have goals, dreams, aspirations, you know, and everything. But most of these things cannot be achieved inside our comfort zone. In order for us to successfully achieve this, we have to step outside of our comfort zone. Stepping out of your comfort zone takes a lot of discipline and courage because you are embarking on a new journey entirely. And it's okay to get scared because you do not know what the future holds. But here is the good news. As long as you trust the one who owns the future itself, you have nothing to worry about. As you embark on this new journey outside your own comfort zone, you will experience a lot of challenges, obstacles, bombs, a lot of stumbling blocks. And all these things have its own purpose in our journey in life. And it's all for God's name to be glorified in our lives. Our journey in life is not a smooth one. Just as the road to success itself is not a smooth one. We all have to pass through hills, valleys, bends, detours, a lot of things before we get to our goalpost. All this experience, the lessons that you have learned during this period in your journey will help you and will prepare you for the next stage. And if you do not pass these tests, there is no how you can get to the next stage. After this learning stage, a new comfort zone is created and that is called the growth zone. Growth stage is the stage that you will make use of all the experiences that you've had, the lessons that you've learned, leverage on these things and build a better life and future for yourself. You left your comfort zone, you were scared. You experienced a lot of bumps, challenges, obstacles, stumbling blocks along the way and you overcame everything and now you're more confident and courageous to embrace the changes that comes with the next level now how do you leave your comfort zone to leave your comfort zone you must let go of the fear and anxiety that comes with taking a new step or trying a new thing fear has nothing good to offer fear will hold you back hold you all stage and even cause you to forfeit every good promises that god has for you that is why it is written in the book of 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7, that God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, of love, and of a sound mind. Number two, find your drive. Your drive is very, very important when it comes to stepping outside of your own comfort zone. Your driving force will determine whether you will be able to embrace the changes that comes with stepping out of your comfort zone, the challenges that comes with stepping out of your comfort zone, and we also determine if you will be able to overcome the challenges. Point three, have a growth mindset. The more you grow, the more you learn. And when you stop growing, you stop learning. And there are two types of mindset here. We have the growth mindset and we have the fixed mindset. Most people with a fixed mindset believe they can't succeed or improve on themselves. They do not care about trying not to talk of embracing a change. They are more of this is how it's been done and this is it. Growth mindset is very, very different. The growth mindset doesn't accept the usual way of doing things or the normal way of doing things. The growth mindset is different. And when you have this growth mindset, it shows that you are ready to break through so as to break forth. Number four, look for like-minded people. Surround yourself with the right people. People with a growth mindset. People will challenge themselves to take on more tasks 
shoulder more responsibilities go for it and get things done it's number four embrace failure fear of failure has killed a lot of goals and dreams because it has kept and held many hostage see every failure as an opportunity to learn a valuable lesson that will take you through your journey in life you want to be better then prepare to be a better person point number five guard your heart stay positive believe in yourself put your trust in god believe in his words meditate on his words eat his words if you can chew the words chew the words hebrews chapter 4 verse 12 says the word of god is alive and powerful and it is also written in the bible that the word of god is a lamp to our feet and a light to our path psalm 119 verse 105 so step out of your comfort zone with a positive mindset and a positive attitude and put your trust in god completely and let him guide you through his all and he will guide you if you have the intention of starting a business or doing something or taking a step and you are still holding back because you love your comfort zone i want you to know this change doesn't come through the usual way change most times comes through the unusual way and the unusual way is you stepping outside of your comfort zone to get things done when you are inside your comfort zone you have no idea of what you are capable of doing and achieving but when you make a conscious effort to step outside of your own comfort zone you will understand and also realize that you are capable of doing more and also achieving more and we have come to the end of today's topic on where inspires if you find this helpful in any way please leave a comment below and click the like button and if you need my channel you already know please subscribe and i will see you again in my next one and until then if all you have to do to achieve that goal is to step outside of your own comfort zone i have a good news for you take that step and embrace the changes that comes with it take that step